Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is going to be Shopping Our Stash. This is a collab that I do with my friend Elizabeth. Once a month we choose one color to focus in on and we shop our stash and we see how many of that color we actually own. Kind of a way to get it out of our system so that when new releases come out we aren't as tempted to buy what is new and we can remind ourselves of what we already own. I don't know if you could tell by my look, but the color of the month is turquoise. This was a request from two people, from my friend Hend and from my good friend Nona, and they both requested turquoise. And um, it was funny because before I had a chance to talk to Elizabeth about that, Elizabeth said we should really do turquoise before the end of the summer. So it all came together and we are doing turquoise today. I have a lot, not as much as I have of a shade like a champagne gold, but I still have a lot, so let's get started. Let's start with what I have on my eyes today. First, I went in with the Sephora Ombre Obsessions palette. This palette has never gotten much love. There's something about it that makes me not wanna reach it, but this shade right here is what I went in with first, and I applied that all over my crease up to my transition area, almost my brow bone. I went up pretty high with it, and it looks like this, it's actually very pigmented. There's a swatch of that right there. Next, I went in with my Juvia's Place Masquerade Mini Palette. Juvia's Place has some amazing turquoise shadows. Funny thing is, I didn't use the turquoise from this palette. I almost did, but instead I went in with this shade right here, this deep blue, and I put that in my outer half of my eyelid. But I will swatch this one today, which is Zola. I love the color turquoise. I just don't wear it on my eyes very often. I guess I'm always afraid I'm gonna end up walking out the door looking like Mimi, like it's too flashy, but I kinda went all out today. Next, I went in with my BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival palette and I used Ultimate on the inner half of my eyelid. That's this guy right here. It is stunning. I'm really glad I went with that one. And then finally, for my inner corner, I went in with my My Little Pony palette and I used a combination of these two center shades for my inner corner highlight. But in this case, the one I'm gonna swatch is this end one right here. I think it's called Twilight. I'm not sure, maybe Princess Sparkle. I can't keep color pop names straight. That's on the deep end of turquoise, I guess. So that's what I have on my eyes today. I hope you like it. Today's my kid's first day of school and it's parent orientation day. So I'm gonna go there looking like this. Is it too much? No, I don't think so. All right, let's keep swatching in no particular order. The next one I have is the Too Faced Sugar Pop Palette. This is pretty much untouched except for what the damage that Hazel has done. And I'm gonna swatch Blue Raspberry down here. There it is right there. Another Too Faced palette, this is the Clover palette. I am going to swatch Spoiled, which is this one right here. As you can tell, I did not choose matte versus shimmer versus metallic. I just went with anything in the turquoise family. Right there. Oh, another Too Faced palette. I have lots of Too Faced. This is the Life's a Festival palette, of course, and I'm gonna swatch this one down there. That's called Dusk Teal Dawn. They're all starting to look very similar, aren't they? Up next, let's swatch the Balm Voyage palette. There's a lighter turquoise in this palette. I almost went with this one today right here. It's called B2. The matte one next to it, I think could almost be swatched as well, but I'll just swatch this one right there. So pretty. 
All right, BH Cosmetics, Eyes on the 60s. I seem to be able to pull this palette out for almost every one of these videos. For today, I'm gonna swatch this bright one right there. Yeah. Probably would have been a good shadow to use to blend out my transition area. There it is right there. It's a very subtle matte turquoise. Okay, next up, I'm gonna swatch my Desert Oasis palette from BH Cosmetics. And ironically, the name of this shadow is called Turquoise, but I'm gonna swatch this one down here called Hot Springs. Ooh. Look at that. Oh, that's a bold color. All right, and up next, I have the Morphe 35E palette. And I'm gonna swatch this guy right here. He's more blue than turquoise, but he's got some gold in him that makes him look more turquoise. Yeah, I think he fits. He'll fit in nicely with his other friends. Oh yeah, right there. That is a really nice shadow. That felt very nice. It applied so nicely. Okay, I have some little guys to get out of the way. This Ulta Loose Pigment is a mineral powder in the shade Marine. She can totally hang with the big boys. Right there. I think it's interesting that a lot of these turquoise colors have like a gold shift in them. I think that's very popular. All right, I'm gonna swatch one half of this duo from Ulta. This is the Sunlit Waves Duo. I can't say for sure if I've ever used this even once. Not performing too well today. Right there. Up next is a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Sugar. I hit pan on this last year. Looks like that. There's Sugar right there. Okay, up next, we have my Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Collaboration Palette. There are two turquoise in this palette. One shimmer, one matte. I will swatch both of them. Okay, there's the shimmer. There's the matte. They're nice. I think by now you guys all know my ELF 100 Pan Palette fairly well. I am going to swatch this one up here. It is a matte shadow. It doesn't swatch nearly as well as the Morphe one, but it's not bad for an old elf palette. Up next in the Tarte Make Believe in Yourself palette, I have the shade Dream right there. Gorgeous. In my Lorac Summer Glow palette, I have two that look a lot like a turquoise. I will swatch, ugh, I will swatch this one right here. In my Mali City Chick I Love Color palette, looks like this. I'm gonna swatch this one right here. Definitely a little bit more blue, but still gorgeous. Okay, up next, I have this little Maybelline quad. This is the Eye Studio in the shade Striking Blue. And I'm gonna swatch that one right there, obviously. All right, another Juvia's Place palette. This is the Zulu. And I'm gonna swatch this one right here. Those just perform amazing. Okay, from the Smashbox Masterclass palette from a couple years ago, I have this eyeshadow right here called Tail Feather. This one right there, 
I'm gonna go ahead and swatch that one. Okay, from my Urban Decay Born to Run palette, I'm gonna swatch this one down in the corner called Big Sky. It's a little bit different than the other turquoise, but I think it's still in the family. I have some depotted singles. These are mostly Makeup Geek or MAC. This is Pegasus from Makeup Geek. This is an amazing foiled eyeshadow. It is stunning. We are officially out of arm space, but I'm not done yet. All right, I have no idea what eyeshadow this is. It's not labeled and I didn't mark it. It performs beautifully though. There it is right there. Sorry for the awkward hand pose. Another eyeshadow without a name. I don't know what it is. Maybe MAC. Could be MAC. We are on to the last stack of eyeshadows. I have another Juvia's Place palette. This is the Saharan 2. And I'm gonna swatch this one right here. This is called Berber. Yeah. It looks beautiful. Okay, from the Smashbox Masterclass from the year before, the last Smashbox Masterclass I showed, I'm gonna swatch the shade C. This is a very, very light turquoise shadow right there. Kinda reminds me of the My Little Pony one I used for my inner corner today. There it is right there. In my Beach Cosmetics Wild and Free palette, I have a greeny turquoise. That's this guy up here in the center. These are all baked shadows. I've had these palettes forever, but they still perform really well. Right there. Okay, a fairly deep turquoise is in the Kristen Leanne and Urban Decay collaboration palette. This is the palette that drives everybody bananas when they see it because of the layout. I'm gonna swatch this one right here. It is called Low. Wow. That swatched beautifully. All right, we are on to our final turquoise of the video. It comes from Alamar. It is the Reina del Caribe palette. And I am going to swatch this one right here. It is called Celia. I think that's how you say it. The whole reason I bought this palette was for this shadow up here, but that is a beautiful turquoise, a greeny turquoise. And that is it right there. All right, here are the swatches of all the turquoise eyeshadows I have all together. Here are these right here. There's a lot of doubles and some interesting variety. And then all of these right here. What have I learned today? That I do not need to buy another turquoise for the rest of my life. It will take me till the end of my days to go through all of these turquoise eyeshadows especially since this is the first time I've worn a turquoise eyeshadow in about a year. The last time I wanted to wear a turquoise eyeshadow was about this time last year when Urban Decay released the Beach Palette. Thank goodness I was able to talk myself out of buying that one because I need another turquoise like I need a hole in the head. So good job, Paula. Good job on not buying one palette. Um, why would I buy, why would I have bought that palette? That's crazy. A bunch of warm toned, orangey shades with two turquoise. I'm so glad I did not buy that palette now. I should have done this back then. I think I did a, and I do not need this palette video on it back then. But yes, pulling out every one of these turquoise eyeshadows makes me realize 
that I do not need another one. And I'm still kind of self-conscious about this eye look I did today. Like it's fine for filming a video, but do I really wanna to go to my kids' elementary school for orientation today wearing this? I'm going to, I'm gonna rock this eyeshadow all day long, but I might be a little self-conscious and feel like Mimi when I walk through those doors. I think everybody knows I'm a crazy makeup lady by now anyways, so who cares? All right, guys. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed looking at all of my beautiful turquoise eyeshadows. I really should wear these more often and find ways to incorporate it. I know it's always nice to pop on a little bit of turquoise eyeshadow on the lower lash line with like a warm eye look. Um, I think that looks beautiful, but I figured for today I'd just go for it. <laughs> and I did. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.